Hey guys, welcome to the West Cam and Leicester City podcast. I know this is late, very late, and I, and I gotta catch up with Bournemouth. We're not playing for a little while, so I'll catch up with Bournemouth, Bournemouth very shortly. I just wanted to, uh, I don't wanna make this a big show, but again, uh, I wanna make West Cam and Leicester about a new problem that I found that, that really annoyed me in January, which is probably our worst month. Uh, season so far and I just want to ask Klopp one question was there absolutely was, was there anyone available in all the world of football that could have improved us defensively that's all I know was there anyone available in our budget that could have improved defense if no well that's a lot are you sure right because there's a lot of players out there and if there are women, this is, if we were fourth or fifth and we sort of just trying to fight to get into Champions League, like we've historically always sort of been around fourth, fifth, that sort of level. Um, I guess if we didn't sign anyone in January, I guess I wouldn't be all that banged up about not signing anyone in January, but because this is a real shot at the top line, this is a real opportunity. To me, it made no no sense why we did not sign some players in January. And I know we bought some of our best players in the last five, six years in January. We bought Sturridge, we bought Coutinho, we bought Van Dijk. Um, of course, now look, we've, we've done some big signings in January. And arguably last season, the season before, so the January 18, when we signed Van Dyke, that turned our season around. I mean, if we could have had a player that could have come in and impacted us to the level of Van Dyke, that would have secured the title. We're talking about winning the Premier League for the very first time ever. Yeah, we won first divisions, but I'm talking Premier League, we never won. I don't know, for me, this is a real opportunity, and I think if we didn't... My thoughts are, because we didn't sign in place, is really going to hurt us. Um, and if we don't win the title, it's because I believe it. I'll bring it down to not signing enough reinforcements. I'm, okay, we're not in the FA Cup. We're not in the League Cup. All right, so there's two competitions that we just don't have enough of a, of a, of a squad to fight for. Um... Look, Klopp needs a title. And I like him. I love him. I think he's done very well. I think that club has been moved in the right direction. He needs a title. There's no way about it. And, you know, he said, you know, in four seasons, if I haven't won the title, that's a problem. And if you go back to his, one of his first ever uh, press conferences, he knows he has to win a title. And this is a real chance to do it. And I'm surprised that we let Klein go, which to me baffles me, makes no sense. I mean, Mindelay wanted to go in the summer, he, let, he kept him. Um, and, and Klein, even if Klein wanted to go, he'd be like, all right, you can go in the end of the, end of the season, but not now. You know, try to fight to get back in. There's a very, there was a very good chance that he would have played in front of Milner against Leicester. And probably against West Ham, I think we... Now Trent's coming back in Burma if he came on. So there was a very good opportunity to climb would have played or at least had some role in those two games. Look, I'm not even necessarily Klein's biggest fan. But I I can't see how getting rid of him and not bringing any I thought when we got rid of him, I'm like, surely, like, I would have put a hundred bucks that we were thinking about signing someone. Or specifically a right back. And I went, for sure we must be signing someone. First thing I thought was, how can we get rid of a right back if we weren't signing anyone? It'd be bizarre. What's but um, there's draws again. Like the goal against West Ham, really? That wasn't that that was not sort of dealt with. I I, I can't I I don't know, guys. Like why why that wasn't dealt with. I mean, that goal against West Ham was terrible. Leicester wasn't great, but whew, West 
I mean, that was ridiculous. I mean, surely we were going to draw against Leicester. I, I sort of didn't feel that game. We had enough chances to win. We should, you know, West Ham, that was a stupid game to draw, really. That, that was a, there was nothing in that game. Should we, we choked in that game. So, I, if he doesn't want to, if, he, if he's not going to use Sturridge anymore, and I'm a big fan of him, I want him to stay at the club. But if he's not going to, if he's not going to have a pivotal role, get rid of him. You can't just use this guy to throw him on three minutes before the end of the game. What's the point? What's the point? <laughs> Throwing him at the end of of a game, two minutes. What's he going to do? I mean, makes no. It's okay. Okay, well, we're winning three 0 against Bournemouth, and we throw him on. All right. Well, what's the point throwing him on if we one all draw? We need that goal. When you throw him, give him two or three minutes. I remember players strikers used to get come on 65th, 70th minute, sometimes even 60th, and have half an hour to make a difference. And then if they had played good, they'll play the next game. And if they didn't, then they'll back on the bench again. Like <laughs> you give someone three minutes. Anyway, um, I don't always understand. I'm, I'm not paid. To understand Klopp's analysis, I'm not, I'm not paid to worry, like he's not going to listen to me anyway, but to me, some of these things, you have to stand back from someone that's not involved and go, what's the point, mate? Like, what are we doing? You know, sometimes fans do know, they see things differently. Um, I don't know. To be honest with you, that West Ham one in particular really pissed me off. Uh, drawing against West Ham, I thought we were a bit unlucky at times, but should have got a penalty. But not getting, not not beating West Ham just gave uh, gave Manchester City so much more confidence. And when they stuffed up against Newcastle, I thought, shit, this is our chance in Leicester West Ham to make a stride. I mean, he probably Klopp probably thinks, oh, Milner's good enough, but Milner. Milner it does all right in midfield. Like Milner, when he's in form, he is a very tireless midfielder. We need that. We need that in to go towards the end of the title. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, for me, I'm just I don't want to babble now in circles and that. But like my thoughts is just I reckon we pissed the title now. I reckon it's gone. I don't think we're going to win it. When we were seven points clear, I felt very confident. After West Ham, I haven't felt very confident. And now I'm just like, I don't know. What Man City did to Chelsea and whopped them 6 0. We still got to play Man United the next game. I don't see how we're going to get three points in that. I, I really don't. I just, I just don't. I hope, hope we do. But I just don't feel like we're going to get three points in that game. We've got to play Bayern Munich. We're probably going to have, we're probably going to have, we're probably going to have a bit of problem uh, getting a result against uh, Bayern Munich. But I think against against Manchester United, I think this is really if we lose that, and then the momentum, the momentum shifts. Uh, Manchester uh, Manchester City way. I think that's the total gone for me for sure. I can't see City losing many games. Who does City have to play that's, that's going to scare them and beat them now? Now they, now they feel like they're so close. I think when Newcastle happened, that I think that sucked a big load of confidence. And that was our chance to really get a hold of the season. And we didn't do it. And I think that's, that's what's going to let us down long term. Long term meaning the end of the season. Because, and miss out on the biggest title. And I just don't know for the life of me why you wouldn't sign players in January to solidify that. Um, it just makes no sense. To solidify the title, get it wrapped up, even if we bought a player for six months. So what, wasn't there any loan signings at least? A loan signing? Nothing, not even a loan signing. I don't know, to me it baffles me. It, it makes no sense, but look, you never walk alone and we'll just hope for the best. I'll see you in the, in the Burma video.